Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss cancer markers. What exactly are the cancer markers? Cancer markers are the substances which are produced by the cancer cells or by the body in response to cancer cells. They can be detected in blood or any body fluid and these are not for definitive diagnosis. Some of the examples of uh, cancer markers are CEA. Uh, this is can be elevated in colonic or lung cancer, CA125 in ovarian cancer, alpha fetoprotein in liver cancer, CA199 in pancreatic cancers, PSA prostate specific antigen in prostatic uh, cancers. But the disadvantage is there can be a false positive result as well as false negative. Let's understand what is the meaning of a false positive result. False positive means ki that there is no cancer, still these markers are elevated. Uh, so that means ki, uh, CEA can be elevated in smokers or in inflammation. CA125 can be positive in fibroids which is a benign condition or endometriosis. Uh, PSA can be elevated in benign prostatic hypertrophy as well as prostate infection. Uh, CA19 by 9 can be elevated in pancreatitis or gallbladder stones. Alpha fetoprotein elevated in hepatitis or cirrhosis. For, they can be falsely negative. False negative means ki there is a cancer in the body, but these markers are uh, negative or normal in the blood. So, cancer present with a normal marker. So, the reasons could be early stages of cancer or they can, there can be a tumor which are not secreting these markers or there can be a biological variability. So, what is the role of uh, these tumor markers, cancer marker screening? So, answer is they should not be used for screening in a general population. Uh, only PSA is the marker which is recommended for screening and that too in uh, men between the age of 55 to 69 years of age. Others are not recommended for a population screening. Uh, second is for the diagnosis. So, remember this point, they are only to support the diagnosis along with the clinical features and uh, radiological imaging. So, uh, these are used with the imaging or biopsy when cancer is suspected. For example, if alpha fetoprotein levels are high, there is a, a liver lesion or a space occupying lesion in the uh, uh, ultrasound or in CT scan. So, most likely it will be hepatocellular cancer. Monitoring, yes, uh, this is the most important thing about the monitoring. Ki they will track the response to the uh, treatment or it can detect the recurrence. Uh, for example, if CEA is falling after the treatment of ovarian cancer, that means it is a uh, good response. While uh, rising CA125, that means there will be a possible recurrence. So, what does the guidelines recommend? So, these guidelines uh, recommend that NCCN guidelines, uh, that is a national uh, uh, cancer uh, network. So, use these markers for the follow-ups and monitoring, but never for diagnosis. ESMO that is European Society for Medical Oncology. So, they recommend that it should be awarded for screening and they should be done along with the imaging. Uh, American Society of Oncology. So, PSA is only for the selective screening and others should be used for monitoring. So, overall they should be used for monitoring the treatment response. But uh, why many diagnostic labs? They include these in the package. You must have seen in the OPD that patient come with a package. Ki, doc, look at these reports. These uh, are included in the uh, routine health checkup. So, uh, that, uh, so, what is your analysis about this? So, these lab uh, uh, people, they include these markers which should not be done. Actually, it should not be done uh, for screening a healthy population. So, it is basically because of a market demand and public fear. Secondly, there will be a uh, commercial competition among the labs. So, uh, lab will say ki we are doing those cancer marker. It will give you a peace of mind because cancer uh, uh, incidence is so much increasing these days. Uh, and also there is a lag of regulation in preventive health package. So, anyone can sell any package, include any test uh, just to capture the market and to uh, make a business out of public fear. 
एंड पीपल हैव अ साइकोलॉजिकल एंड सोशल फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो दैट वी आर गेटिंग दिस टेस्ट डन एटलीस्ट वी आर सेफ वी आर नॉट एट रिस्क फॉर डिवेलपिंग द कैंसर सो वेन शुड मार्कर बी डन फ्रॉम द फिजिशियन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम द डॉक्टर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो इफ देर इज अ सस्पेशन ऑफ अ कॉलोनिक और जी आई कैंसर लाइक ब्लड इन द स्टूल वेट लॉस देन गो फॉर दीज मार्कर सी ई ए ओवेरियन कैंसर पेशेंट विल हैव ब्लोटिंग असाइटिस डिस्टेंशन ऑफ द एबडोमन गो फॉर सी ए वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ पेशेंट हैज लिवर कैंसर दैट विल बी मैनिफेस्टेड बाय राइट अपर क्वाड्रेंट पेन और जॉन्डिस एंड एल्फा फीटो प्रोटीन विल बी एडवाइसेबल इन दीज पेशेंट स्पेशली इन लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग सिरोसिस पेशेंट एल्कोहलिक पेशेंट पेनक्रियाटिक कैंसर देर विल बी अ जॉन्डिस इफ देर इज अ कैंसर ऑफ हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियाज वेट लॉस गो फॉर सी ए नाइनटीन बाई नाइन प्रोस्टेट डिफिकल्टी इन यूरिनेशन वेट लॉस देर इज अ पेन इन द लो बैक विच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ लंबर मेटास्टेसिस सो गो फॉर अ पी एस ए सो वेन टू टेस्ट ओनली वेन द सिम्टम्स और इमेजिंग सजेस्ट दैट देर इज अ कैंसर ऑलवेज इंटरप्रेट विद क्लिनिकल फाइंडिंग्स एंड द स्कैंस ट्रेंड ऑफ द टाइम इज ट्रेंड ओवर द टाइम इज मोर मीनिंगफुल देन अ सिंगल वैल्यू सो इन समरी फॉर स्क्रीनिंग in a general healthy population no except for the psa monitoring yes uh, follow ups yes prognostic indicator yes some of these marker can give you a prognosis not used alone it is a part of a complete cl clinical evaluation so take home message is tumor markers are supportive tools not diagnostic test only psa is used for selected screening in males after the age of 55 years high marker does not always means cancer it can be a false positive always discuss the result with your doctor and uh, always do the analysis along with the symptoms imaging and biopsy so markers are not equal to the diagnosis marker with doctor right decision should be taken so this was about the uh, cancer marker and uh, the scams done by the lab people uh, for general population including these in the uh, routine health checkup so uh, this was about our discussion on the uh, cancer markers so as a doctor if you want to give any suggestion or if you want to put any comment regarding this aspect you can uh, do that and we'll uh, discuss in the comment section thank you